Can't have my coffee. Can't have my fan. My God, no wonder I swear so much. Troubleshoot the shit out of it. Hi guys, Fraser from Lifco Hydraulics. Today's video is on a troubleshooting of an open loop piston pump. In this case here, the customer says it's not pumping. They can't get it to build pressure. Now, I don't know if they mean that it pumps at a low pressure, but when the system pressure rises, it stops pumping, or if it's just not pumping at all and it's not even building that pressure whatsoever. Let's crack it open and let's see if we can find out if anything is going wrong. Hint, yes, there are some problems. This is a HPR 210 a Lindy unit. This is the O2 series. Uh, this is a, the open loop style, not the uh, closed loop standard like the HPVs we've done a bunch of stuff on. The customer purchased it in 2023. Say they have 500 hours running time. Because they don't run the machine that often, is it possible that it lasted this long, damage occurred during startup? A couple of things can cause that. Look at the port plate in the barrel. You might not be able to see it on the video, but it's pretty grooved and it's fairly worn deep here. And if you look on the barrel, you can see the sculling. The metal's kind of gold up in here. Around here, you feel sharp edges. It should be smooth. If you look at your bearing race also, you can see the discoloration. It's also in the front one, you can see it. You can see in here, you've got the discoloration where the bearing made contact. So what it looks like, it looks like there was either the housing wasn't completely filled, it may not have been filled. When they fired it up, the damage got done, but the housing filled back up so it didn't get completely cooked. That would have created damage between here and here because there would have been no lubrication, so metal on metal. Yeah, generally you'll see it on the running surface. You can see all the straight lines. It shouldn't look like a record. I don't I don't think there's any pull off. I don't feel any belling. Now, if you look here, again, it's really hard to see in a video, but there is a few thou groove worn right here, which is probably from no oil and it being slammed in there. So there's a indent here you can see the scratching all around it like if it was an instantaneous where it was shut off you'll see like a circular where it comes in and bangs it and but this one it, it may have been half filled or i believe that it's on a piece of mobile equipment a lot of them have a pressurized reservoir so they could have had no oil in the case fire up the unit reservoir gets pressurized if there's no nothing in the line it could have filled the case pretty quick but like i said a couple of seconds is more than enough to do damage so what do they mean by filling the case well the case is just another word for that housing that you see that's the cast iron sort of cube structure where everything goes inside it when it gets installed onto the system they need to remove a plug and actually pour oil hydraulic oil into the case so that it fills up they also need to bleed out into the air to make sure that it's 100% filled with oil. They do this because the, the surfaces inside need to run against each other with that coat of oil in between them. No oil, then that means no lubrication. It's just metal on metal, and it gets gouged out, and it wears out very quickly. It also heats up what a little oil is in there, produces this heat that will create that varnish look on it, which is like a burnt oil on there. How long will a pump last if you don't fill the case up with oil? It could last from about half a second to about two to three weeks. The damage depends on how little oil was in there. If there was no oil, it wouldn't last more than half a second. This is 90% of the issue right here. On startup, it got, it got hot, picked up a little spot, and then just beat itself up. I'm gonna make up a report. Brendan will deal with the customer, let them know what our findings are, and how they wanna proceed. Is that the piece, a piece to it? That gear looking thing? This? Yeah. yeah. So this, well the customer sent it in, they sent in their coupler, but not their rear mount, so this sits on the back of the shaft. 
and then the auxiliary pump will drive off of this. And then this is their drive coupler that goes on the front of their shaft and engages in their motor or their PTO or whatever they have driving this thing. They may have sent this in because they need a new one. If you look here, you see, okay. all, you see all the wear? Like half the life is worn off this coupler, so. It's atypical that they would include this. In a lot of cases, they can't get it off. It's seized on. Then they'll just send it with us. But you saw that they took off the back mounting flange for a rear unit and gave us the coupling and then gave us the front coupling as well that that uh, sort of drive gear looking thing uh, in this case it was good because it looked like it was very worn out in the report i just have to put in there that rear mount wasn't sent in coupler was drive coupler that was sent in is worn should be replaced do not reuse because the last thing we want to do is send this back with the duck factory gets repaired and they throw it in it spins, they're gonna be like, oh, the pump doesn't work. They pull it out, oh, the coupler's broke, which has happened. Okay. I, got, I got sent on a service call one time because they said our pumps weren't working. They put them in. So we go there, pull the inspection cover off the bell housing because I want to see what size Allen key. And the guy goes, oh, I'll fire it up so I'll show you. I'm like, yeah, okay. So he fires it up. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching, watching the coupler spin. And I can see the shaft of the motor just sitting there, or sitting there just perfectly still. still. And I'm like, shut it down. He goes, yeah, it takes a long time to slow down. I'm like, okay. Yeah, because there's no resistance trying to stop it. Yeah, the coupler was just completely stripped on the inside. Our engineers and mechanics are just waiting for the next troubleshooting content. If you have a component, send it in. And as a thank you, we don't charge for labor on those types of jobs.